Cloud Code, Anthropic's agentic coding agent, has become the most popular coding tool. And it lives in your terminal. It doesn't even have any fancy user interface. Why? I was quite suspicious and I tried it myself for the last two weeks. It truly blew my mind with the quality and efficiency. Today, I'm gonna share how to use the context, plan, and execute CPE framework to build anything fast. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to build your first web app and use it even if you have never coded before or you have never used your terminal before. Because honestly, before I learned how to code, it was kind of scary to open a terminal and talk to the computer using code. If today is your first time using the terminal, then I am honored to be the person who want to encourage you to start your journey. And I want you to not have the irrational fear I had that prevented me from learning how to use the terminal much earlier than I actually started. It could have saved me hundreds of hours easily. Before we get started, there are two things you need to do. Just go to this website and download the Node.js package for your operating system. You can click here to change your operating system and download the matching installer and follow along to download Node.js. And second, make sure you have a pro plan or max plan with cloud because cloud code is only available with pay plans. After we have installed Node.js, we wanted to open the terminal and check node-v. If it outputs a version number, then you're good to go. And then also pm-v version number, you're good to go. Great. And let's follow the official instructions here. Let's do npm install dash g. This means to install globally cloud code. Okay, back to the terminal and just copy and paste. Return. If it's your first time, it's gonna take a little while. And the second step is to change your directory. So a really useful command is print current working directory, which is pwd. And then this is my current directory. But I want it to point to a specific folder, all right? Then I do cd, which is just short for change directory. Now, sometimes I just don't want to type the path. Right. If I already have the folder created, I can just drag it here and return. Oh, see, I made a mistake. I need to have a space between the directory and CD. And then I drag it over and enter. Okay, and then we check PWD again. All right, cool. And to launch cloud is really simple. Just type cloud. Now, since I've already installed it previously, I have already gone through the preference settings and login process. Remember, it does require you to have a pay plan, so it will prompt you to go to a website and sign in, and then you can go back. All right. And after that, just enter cloud, return. It will see something. Do you trust the files in this folder? Yes, return. And we're ready to interact with cloud code. I know it sounds so primitive here that it's just a black box, doesn't have buttons and anything else. But I think the essence is also the simplicity and how much it can do. And the first thing I want to introduce is the slash command. So if you just type slash here, it will list some most common commands slash clear. And this one clear conversation history but keep a summary in context. This is really helpful when you're already having a long string of conversations with cloud. You don't want it to remember all the previous conversation and you can use slash clear. Right now, even though this is a command line tool right now, you can use it as a regular chat bar. For example, can you come up with a joke? Why don't programmers like nature? It has too many bugs. And of course, we don't just want to use this as a chatbot. We can just use the normal cloud interface to do that. And the power really lies in building a program. Now we just covered slash clear and reset the history. Another one is slash model. Select the AI model for cloud code. 
I'm currently using the Pro plan, so there's only the Sonnet model for me to But if you have the Max plan, you can choose the Opus model here. Another thing very, very useful is using Shift and Tab. You can see I just click on Shift and Tab, and we can change the mode to Auto Accept. So if you don't want it to ask you for constant approvals, so just go ahead and make the whole thing. You can turn on this mode, or you can keep changing it to plan mode. And this is where you want the AI agent to be able to make a plan and submit to you for your approval before it does anything substantial, right? So this one is extremely helpful. And then we can shift it back to the default mode. So right now let's test the plan mode. So for example, how about we ask it to build a game for us? Can you make an interactive web app game so the computer can randomly pick a number and the user can guess it? Okay, this is like a super simple one sentence prompt. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I actually wanted to change the directory, and so I'm just gonna choose number three. Actually, I can just tell the model, please create a new folder called guess the number and put it inside the cloud code demo folder and make it a current directory. I know this is not necessarily the most efficient way to do this, but hey, this is to demonstrate that cloud code can directly help you create a directory, create a new folder in your computer. And it says it understand it, but it's in plan mode and need to present implementation plan before making any changes. So let's quickly read this, create a project structure, guess the game. This is what I requested and boot the web game. It's going to use the vanilla JavaScript, which is fitting. This is a simple game. Would you like to proceed? Uh, so this time I'm going to try the auto accept mode. Choose number one and return. See, it's telling you the status, determining how much time span, how much tokens, and you can click on the escape key to interrupt the workflow if you want it to stop. Okay, it tells me the computer randomly picks a number between 1 to 100, and you try to guess it with helpful hints after each attempt and it opened it in the browser for me already. Okay, let's try it. All right, this is the game Cloud Code helped us create in less than a minute with just a one sentence prompt. Let's try the guessing number game to see if it's working. Let's see, 50, too low, try a higher number. Okay, it correctly shows the hint and a number of attempts I like every time I click enter, it clears my last entry. Wow, I got it in five tries. Pretty good, and it it worked. So I think for low risk tasks like creating a game or just build any web apps locally stored, you can definitely give auto accept mode a try, and it's pretty fun. And moving on next, let's actually create something a little bit more complicated. And this time, let's actually try VS Code. So we're using a IDE and it will allow us to quickly browse all the different files Cloud Code created and it will help us manage the workflow better and give us stronger visual flow control. There are two different ways to set it up. You can first use the terminal and do slash IDE. And so I currently have cursor and VS Code installed. In my computer, I can just choose VS Code. Alternatively, uh, you can download VS Code and open VS Code and download Cloud Code plugin there separately. So here I'm going to choose VS Code and it tells me in, I already installed an extension to VS Code. All right, um, in VS Code, I open my project directory, which is the Pomodoro timer, because I wanted to demonstrate how to use Cloud Code to build a Pomodoro timer that we can use right away. I personally use Pomodoro timer almost every single day, and I used to go to 
a website someone else has built this web app there and use it there. And I want to be able to use my own app locally without even access to the internet. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's certainly open the terminal. Let's go to view and open the terminal. And that's type cloud. Okay, see the interface is pretty similar here, except for that we're just viewing the terminal inside of VS Code. Now, whenever I use a AI agent to help me with a coding project, I follow the context plan and execute workflow. Context just means I need to give AI agent enough context of what I want to build in details, what's the final desired state, and as if I were to present this project to the engineering team to avoid unnecessary back and forth during the process. And so what I usually do for the context phase when I use VS Code is not to prepare a long paragraph prompt here. Instead, I create a markdown file. So this is what I would do. I'm going to go to here and create a new document and call it requirement.md. And here I copy paste in everything I wanted the app to achieve. So I included goal, core features, and some controls. And I also want notifications, sounds, user interface, session tracker. I added in things like I need this app to greet the users. All right, now find the link below for my free PDF guide with detailed prompts to build 10 interactive web apps. And then the next step, I use shift and tab, remember? And then this time I want to use the plan mode. By following my sequence, I can tell you that 99% of the time, I usually get what I want in less than three runs of communications with the AI. In most cases, just one shot. And Cloud does a fantastic job at understanding my specific requirements and deliver a fantastic output. So now I use Shift and Tab to turn on the plan mode. And now I just simply say, please create a Pomodoro web app for me. According to, I use at the requirements. According to this file, please make recommendations to make the design better. Okay, return. And it is analyzing. It says I'll read the requirement.md. And then the green dots just says it completed the step. Let's see more about the plan. It included the core features, exactly what I requested, and also the enhanced design recommendations. Minimum list UI, great. And dark light theme, perfect. Customizable settings, that's great. And task integration. This is actually a great suggestion. Simple task list to associate Pomodoros with specific work. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna click number one to allow auto accept, which is the yellow mode. And let's say what it can do. You see that it gives you a very nice report and progress under updated tools. And it, it tells you exactly which item it is working on and cross the items off when it completes it. It's just quite satisfying. <laughs> and at the same time on the left hand side, you can see the newly created files. Okay, less than two minutes is completely the work. All right, the moment is now. Let's open the app. Let's try. All right, it's asking my name. Perfect, exactly what I asked. Get started. All right, there is greetings. And then, all right, 25 minutes, typical Pomodoro work time duration. And there's recess, skip. This must be mute, yes. And settings, let's do a start. And if I wanna skip, Okay, break, it's working, and then settings. Okay, you change, break, long break, work duration. Can you even reset name? And really importantly, I really wanted a task list about task edit. 
Okay, very cool. And there's a time here. If I do, I think this means move this to the completed task. Task completed. Okay, this is good. Although the UI can improve slightly, but overall, I think it's working well. Let's see if I can turn this moon thing on. All right, dark mode, exactly what I wanted. Honestly, I'm really impressed. This will be an app that I will use on a daily basis. And once again, if you want my cloth code templates to create interesting and productivity enhancing apps, please find the link down in the comment section below and it's completely free. If you find any value in today's video, please like and subscribe and share it with anybody who might benefit from it. See you next time.